Cell phones. Who knew they could mean so much to so I, many people? I did. To so many people. And who knew that they could be so incredibly dangerous? I, I knew that too. Okay, we went on an investigative. It was an expose. Investigated. Exposed people. Expose into the heart of Coma Park Senior High School to. St. Paul, Minnesota. To, uh. Expose the cell phone policy here at Coma Park. My name is Stryker Thompson, and I'm here with Mr. Daniel Misick, principal of Coma Park Senior High School. Hello. Hi, Stryker. How are you doing today? I'm quite fine. Uh, so I would like to ask you a few questions about Coma Park's policy, newfound policy on uh, cell phone usage. So, could Daniel, could you please explain how the new policy on cell phones works at Como? Okay, first I have a correction. It's not a new policy. It's the same policy we had last year. The policy is that students need to have their phones off and stowed between 7.30 and 2 o'clock. Well, I mean, should I have my shirt on or off? Because my nipple... Hey, I see one. Here, give me the camera. Give me the camera. Get him. Get him. No phones in school. And that is how we get things done. Eat it, Marshall. You want your phone back? You can go talk to Mr. Daniel Misick, the office, the administration. You don't mess with Coma Park Senior High School. You get your phone to here. Cell phones, what's your policy? Three right here, and you have three. So what will be the consequences if a student is found violating these laws? It's not a law, it's a policy. And if a student violates it, we'll take the cell phone and give it back to him at the end of the day. If it's the second time, we'll keep it till Friday or we'll give it back to their parents. So, on average, about how many cell phones would you say you confiscate per day? It started out and it was about 10, but now it's down to about 2. So do you think this means that the students have uh, reacted positively and are behaving better or are just uh, getting better at hiding them? I think they're actually doing a lot better because I'm good at looking for them and I don't see nearly as many cell phones out right now. Okay, so let's say I just happen to uh, take my phone out right oh, No, but that's for demonstration. I I need that. Mr. Coin after school. Well, this didn't go as planned. Mr. Coin, thanks. Thanks a lot. Well, this has been a great interview. Oh, well, I still have a few questions, Daniel. Now, see, I have some concerns as to like... I have one on sale really well Daniel I have some questions regarding the uh, what happens to the cell phones after they are confiscated there have been allegations that uh, tracking devices have been placed on all of the cell phones so you may be able to locate any students you would like as they are as necessary so do you have any comments regarding this we don't do that but that's a very good idea I'm gonna look into it thanks hello Coma Park I'm here with Will Zhang hey Will Zhang how are you today I'm great. Hear that, Como? He's great. So what are your thoughts on the recent allegations that Mr. Misik has been planting cell phone trackers in all of our confiscated cell phones? It's com not good. You hear that, Como? Complete unsatisfactory. I'm here with Spiffy. And Spiffy would like to share some of his thoughts on Como Park's recent cell phone policy. Spiffy, what do you think about the new uh, total lockdown on cell phone usage in Como? I mean, you know, I would like to use my phone, but you know, it's the school policy, so you can't have your phone. So y'all might as well just leave them phones home if y'all want to get your phone took. I don't know what I'm That's all I have to say about that. Don't get your phones took. Spiffy, what do you have to say about the allegations that Mr. Misik is putting tracking devices on all of the confiscated cell phones so he can locate all the students? Oh, I ain't, I'm saying I don't know nothing about that. You know what I'm I just know about the phones, don't bring them. So I don't know, but yeah. I'm Striker Thompson, and I'm here with... Uh, Tanner. And Tana would like to comment on Coma Park Senior High School's new lockdown on cell phone usage. Um, it's crazy. It really is. I don't, I don't get it. No one really does. Well, thank you, Tanner, very much for talking with us today. Shout out to my homie Armani. Shout out to Shantae, big ass. So shout out to everybody and shout out to the bell because I'm about to go to class. Peace.